Most of us realize the 2017 fire season was having a significant impact on Montana's summer tourist season. Now a new study puts that into better perspective. Research done at the University of Montana indicates the summer wildfires, <clears throat> excuse me, took a $240 million chunk out of visitor spending. MTN's Dennis Bragg shows us the numbers. Tourism has gotten to be a big business in Montana, but when you drop a major fire season on top of the most profitable time of the year, businesses that depend on that summer income really begin to suffer. This year, the mid-July lightning storms that started the largest fires in western Montana put a miserable and smoky damper on the height of not only the tourist season, but the prime time for in-state vacations and weekend trips for Montanans. Just how big was the impact? UM's Institute for Tourism and Recreation Research now estimates Montana lost up to 800,000 visitors, and the researchers estimate that means visitor spending was off by more than $240 million for 2017. While a third of the visitors surveyed that did come here in July, August, or September said the smoke wasn't bad enough to negatively impact them, 10% said they couldn't go to their planned destination, 7% switched to a different part of the state. As you would expect with the largest fires in the Lolo and Flathead National Forest and the Sprague Fire closing popular spots on the west side of Glacier National Park, Missoula and Flathead counties were hit the hardest by those changes in plans. And 76% of all Montanans said they had to cope with weeks of smoke in their hometowns, with 87% Western Montana and 90% in Southwest Montana complaining about poor air quality. 90% said they couldn't go hiking and fishing as often. 25% canceled their in-state travel plans altogether. The researchers say the study shows a need for a wide-ranging, action-driven conversation on how Montana needs to adapt to more intense fire seasons and build businesses that can withstand those impacts. They warn firefighting costs, loss of business, and disillusioned Montanans could become a bigger issue in the years to come. In Missoula, Dennis Bragg, MTN News.